I'm going snorkeling inside that broken down boat. That's an abandoned, like. Whoa, dude. What is going on, Kaferos? Welcome back to another video here. I whipped out the camera because I was walking down this bank, which is right in the back of my hotel, or at least by it. We are in Rhoda. And I decided to come out here and kind of pick up some rocks, look for crabs, just, you know, find some little shelled critters, and uh, I did. Look how cool this is. They got their little rod holders in the boat. Uh, this is made out of straight styrofoam, wood across, and everything is tied with, like, wire and nail. So this is a homemade boat, literally. That's dope. All right, first flip. Yep, 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 look, 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 look. This right here, this is a baby stone crab. So a lot of people actually eat these when they get much bigger. This one's just a tiny little baby, and of course we're gonna let them go in just a second, but stone crab, I'm guessing they just get the name because that next to a rock? I mean, look at that, you barely can see that thing. Feel free, bud. It's going right back under that rock. Oh, 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 another one, another something, something. You see all these little tiny red pinkish things on the belly? They are little tiny eggs. This is a female, little baby female. That looks, thing looks so young to even have babies yet. Anyway, there you go, bud. There's another one. That's a, look how small it is and it's pregnant. How does that make any sense? Look at that, wait, let me flip it. Look at that. What? Okay, you go free too. All right, I'm gonna put this rock next to you. There you go, buddies. But I didn't only find that. I looked over here, and that is an old, broken down, like, bilge boat or something like that. I don't, I don't know. I mean, they did some sort of work on it. Without even hesitating, I flew back to the hotel, grabbed my snorkel gear. No, these are actually just my glasses. I have the snorkel gear over there, but I'm going snorkeling inside that broken down boat. That's an abandoned, like, and I'm sure there's some tropical fish hiding under there, all sorts of stuff. Crabs, who knows what we'll find. But I got my stuff, and I'm excited to hop in this water. You can find all sorts of stuff in there. Who knows what's in there? Oh my god. Echo! It's so sick. Look how far it goes. This is actually how they dredge. I believe this is a dredge boat is what it's called. And they take the sand out. And then, uh, well, they just do work on the water in general. You can see that's some sort of machine over there. Oh my gosh. Dude, and it's not the only one. Though. Another one's right there, but there's literally... As you can see, that's flat, and there's nothing left to that one, especially after that, like, Cat 5 storm they just had. Look at all the fish. You can see them all down there. There's even pieces, like, spread out from the storm. Oh, there's another boat right there that's completely flattened out as well. Dude, you know what the weird thing is? I think there's just been a bunch of these that they bring here, and they abandon them, because I could see parts out there. Over there is another one. I mean, or less, they just break off and pieces fly everywhere, which is very possible. So to be honest, definitely didn't come prepared for this. I got no shoes, no gloves. Yeah, I'm just asking to get cut by one of these rusty walls, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm going in. through to get in here. Look at that. Craziness. All right, let's head back out and uh, keep searching.
Alright, well y'all just witnessed it firsthand. I've never done one of these snorkeling things. I've just saw this and I said, hey, I got snorkeling gear. I'm hopping in. I'm gonna go look. And I found this bone right here. No idea what the heck this thing is. Some sort of animal. I'm guessing some sort of animal. I mean, it's got teeth like a sh Look at that. And they're all like rotted because it's been in the water for so long. It's got algae all over it. But that is crazy. What in the heck? But not only this, as I'm walking back to my stuff, this is on the bank. This is like some sort of tailbone or something. I, it looks like a race car. Put it on a racetrack and just zoom, gone. I have no idea what the heck this is either. It looks almost like some sort of alien. I'm going to keep this and also going to keep this, obviously. I want to bring it back to camp and see what the people think this is. They should know exactly what it is because I'm clueless. It looks like some sort of like dinosaur or something. Maybe like a, maybe a horse or... Looks like horse teeth. Maybe a cow? I have no idea what this is. It looks definitely like a big mammal though. Now I just dried off, but before I get out of here, you wanna know a fun fact about Rhoda? This actually is the clearest water in the world. Rhoda has the clearest water in the world. If you were to go snorkeling in here, you'd understand. You could see the visibility is unreal. Do you see it still? Yeah, it's, it's moving. It's moving? Yeah. Oh! oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Come here, buddy. That is sick. Dude, people keep these as pets by us. Look at the crab. Look at the claw on that crab. So we were just driving and we ran into this hermit crab. That's really, really cool. This is the type of stuff that I love to just whip out my camera and film. So we're gonna put him down and see what he does. Let's see if he crawls away. Oh, look at that. Look how sick that is. Bro, you move slow. You might've got hit by a car. <laughs> that is so cool. It's so cool how they move. Where are you? The water's that way. All right, well, obviously you know what you're, you know what you're doing, not me. What? Okay, let me put the glasses down for a second. Okay, so they would dig into these rocks and there's unfinished ones as well. Alrighty, so right here is an unfinished one. But this one's actually finished. And they would put these cannons in. Yeah. And then when a ship came by, and this is World War II, correct? Correct. They would just bomb the ships they didn't want coming in their island. I gotta go check this thing out. This is wild. Dude, check this thing out. Ow. Sharp. Look at this. Okay, so this one is actually, of course, finished. And there would be people working here. Maybe those were fireplaces? I don't know what those were. They sat in there. Dude, and they would just sit here. They didn't like a ship that was coming in. Psh, gone. Look at that. Absolutely insane. They thought you could actually move it. Really? Yeah. Oh my god, you can move it. Dude, I see a ship. I don't like that one. I can move the cannon. <laughs> what in the heck? We gotta move it out of the street now, but. Oh my gosh. Yo, all right, so we made it to the cliff edge is what they call it. And this is where you could just look straight down at the ocean. There's fish that are trapped down there. He's inside that hole. There's more than one. There's like three or four of them in there. Oh my gosh, there's so many. And they're all stuck right there. What in the heck? Back home, looked up cow bones. So that's what I thought it was, and if you go down here, just a bit, just a bit, boom, boom, boom. It's a cow jaw. So I guess it's like literally the jaw of a cow. That's crazy. So what the local told me, they'll go out, they'll go out to their farms, they'll kill the cow, they'll get the cow's meat, and they'll throw the carcass on the side of the ocean or on the beach or wherever they may throw it. Then the stray dogs actually come by and they pick it away, and the birds, and the crabs, and everything else, cycle of life. That's what happens, and this is what, uh, this is what comes up uh, weeks, maybe months later, maybe years, I don't know, but this is what you eventually get out of that animal. That is crazy, I found this thing. The tide must have just swept it out there, and it sat right in the sand, and boom, there it is. So, we got a cow uh, bone, a cow bone. If you guys have yet to do so, hit that subscribe button.
and of course hit that bell after doing so you'll be notified every time I do upload. First time I've ever done like a snorkeling video. If you guys did enjoy that, be sure to let me know. No idea what this bone is. Um, if you do know, let me know in the comments down below. Today's positive comment shout out goes to Matthew Parrish. Great video, man. You always make an unexpected video. Keep hey, it nice. Hey, sir. Can yeah. you please keep your mouth quiet? We're sleeping around here. <laughs>